uh, we talked about uh, Power BI. As I said, it's very powerful. Still, we haven't gone into the subject. We were just seeing about the uh, few of the charts and uh, we started to explore about why there is a peak. Obviously, some incident would have happened on that particular day. So that's why we see that graph. And uh, we talked about four use cases. Uh, one was the Swiggy and followed by one was Best Buy, an e-commerce company where I was talking about your roles and responsibilities. Please be informed that you as a data analyst or a Power BI developer, you need to start giving the ideas. Okay, the first responsibility would always be try to build a report like this. Any business, they'll have the data and you have to build a report like this, right? So once you build a report like this, you have to start sharing the ideas. End of the day, they have to make money. They're hiring you for your ideas. So start giving ideas. So we're talking about the advertisement and then about the bankings. We started sending the post. And finally, we saw about the Red Bull where they also uh, use the crunched uh, bottles as a, a strategy, right? So all this we have seen. And apart from that, we also see how the data was important for us. So we have to put, do a bit of data cleaning. That's our second role. And uh, I've also given you a, a proof that how one data point can change the fate. Correct? A single data point can change the fate. Well, well, well. We started with use case, we started with reporting and we started with data cleaning. And finally, you are going to do all this. But where will I do this? Where will I do this? Well, we have a tool for that. And that is Power BI. Now, BI stands for Business Intelligence. I repeat, if you mention this word in your resume, BI, that makes you that you're a data analyst. Okay, that is proof that you're a data analyst. Business intelligence. So business intelligence, we are putting into two words. One is business and one is intelligence. We are going to use the business data and we are going to improve the business in terms of whatever it is. It's a revenue, it's a profit, whatever. We are trying to help them grow, right? So using your intelligence in companies growth, with the help of data comes under business intelligence. We can start cleaning the data. We can start analyzing the data. We can start visualizing the data. All this we will be considering as BI. Now, let's talk about Power BI. Power BI is actually for analyzing the data, is for cleaning the data, is for visualizing the data. All three are your roles and responsibilities. Okay, remember that. All your things what we have discussed in the last class all things are like your roles and responsibilities but all these things we are going to do with one beautiful tool that is going to be power bi right it's going to be power bi now again in the power bi each one is responsible for a certain things okay for example we will be talking about this all this in future but just to give you a high level insight today in Power BI, we have four components. We have four components. So one is Power Query, one is Power Pivot, one is Power View, and one is Power BI Service. Now, first of all, what I told you, you want to get the data and you have to clean the data, right? You want to clean the data. For all the data cleaning, we will be using Power Query. So Power Query, we are using it for data cleaning. See, all the work I cannot do alone. I need to have certain responsibility given to certain component. So all the data cleaning task has been done by Power Query. And uh, a bit of data modeling. A bit of data modeling. So data modeling is organizing the data into proper format, like making sure that we arrange customer data into customer table, uh, maybe order data into order table. All this we'll be doing. And uh, as you have seen the uh, Swiggy report also, we do have a lot of charts. We do have like uh, visuals, right? So all these charts, reports, everything can be done with the help of Power View. And finally, for sharing this report to the end users, we do have something called
Power BI service. With the help of Power BI service, you can share the report with outsiders. Okay, now all this is just an overview. In our entire session of Power BI, we will be learning all four components. Okay, so that will be our topic that is also mentioned in our syllabus. We'll be covering all four. Now, we got to know what is Power BI. In the current market, in the current market, we have 30 plus business intelligence tool that is available. For example, if I want to buy a smartphone, there are the different brands of smartphone available, right? We have iPhone, I mean, we have Apple, Samsung, and we have Vivo, or we have Redmi, right? We have so many brands. Similarly, my companies are also expecting the data wants to be in the form of a charts and visuals. In order to do that, already there are 30 charts that is available in the market. To talk about that, we have Tableau, we have Power BI, we have Oracle, we have SAP, and we have Hadoop. There are so many tools that is already available in the market. First question. You may ask me, we have 30 tools. We have 30 tools. Why are you teaching only Power BI? This is your first question, right? See, we have n number of brand branded phones, but why are we choosing only Apple phone, right? It makes a difference. We have a lot of pros and cons of each and every tool. What is making us to choose Power BI is what I'm going to tell. Try to understand. You are all called data analyst. Without even knowing Power BI, you can still be called as data analyst. You know how? A data analyst is a person who analyzes the data, converts the raw data into insights. That is a data analyst. By providing the ideas, suggestions, improvements in order to improve that business, we work with the data. We call it as data analyst. Inside the data analyst, which tool you are using to analyze is a question. If you are using Tableau, you can either call be a, you can be called as a Tableau developer or you can also call as a data analyst. If you are using Power BI, you can either be called as a Power BI developer or you can call as a data analyst. Data analyst is a data analyst. What you are using depends on your need. If we will be checking whatever the, the difference between all the tools and you'll be choosing one. Okay. Now, let's see. Why are we learning Power BI? Power BI along with other tools can convert your raw data into insights. Can convert your raw data into insights. What is raw data? Some of the uh, data that we get in the real term and we will be getting from a different, different teams and I want to convert into a report. I've shown you a Swiggy report. I'll be showing a couple of other reports as well. So with that, we should be able to convert the raw data into insights. That is what we are going to do. Now, let's see why we are going to learn only this tool. Why not others? Okay. I'm going to show you five proof. I'm going to show you five proof. This five proofs helps us to come to a justify justification that yes, this is a tool that we are going to learn. I'm going to give you five proofs. The first proof is it is recognized by Gartner. We'll see what is this Gartner company. Uh, I don't know how many of you have seen. Uh, if you have seen reels, initially it was there in TikTok. But nowadays, I don't see this type of videos. But still, a uh, lot of short, short videos we can see in the Instagram reels, right? There will be a guy who will uh, keep the Samsung phone and iPhone in the hot water. And he'll put it in the fire. And he'll put it, he'll throw it from the second floor. And he will say this phone is best. So those type of comparison uh, videos you would have seen in your Instagram reels or TikTok, right? Maybe in the past. Like this, there is a company called Gartner. You know what is the work of this Gartner? The only work of Gartner is comparison. They keep on comparing one tool with other tool. The main work of the company itself to compare. Okay, the main work of the company itself to compare. You give any two products, they'll start comparing and tell which is the best one. That is their main work. Like that, 
they have come up with one Gartner report. We call it as Gartner for BI report. Now, this is Gartner magic report. Okay. In this report, you can see that 30 plus business intelligence tools are there. 30 plus BI tools are there. It will be with small, small circle. Okay. Now, if you observe this, you can see that all the circle are, circles are placed within these four boxes. Now, let's go and read this, how it looks like. Okay. Imagine that, just imagine that all these 30 tools are running for a race. All these 30 tools are running for a race. Imagine all 30 tools are running for a race. Okay. Now, this is a finish line. And this is a start line. Okay. I'll give you 30 seconds time. I'll give you 30 seconds time. Observe this race chart, which I have built. Okay. It's not exactly the race. I have built a race for this. And imagine that all the 30 tools are running for the finish line. All these small, small circles which you see, right? This is called the tools, the PI tools. It is running for the finish line. Tell me, what is your observation? What is that insight you bring out of this chart? Microsoft, uh, Microsoft is in the Microsoft first place. Very good. Very good. The first point, Microsoft is on top. Next. Tableau. Followed by Tableau. Followed okay. by Tableau. Tableau is second. Very good. Next. Next. Competition between Microsoft and Tableau. Very only. good. Very good. The competition is between only two people. Other, other people? Okay, fine. Next. Always Power BI. Where is Power BI? Is it your question? Is it your question? Microsoft Sorry. itself is a Power BI. Yeah, Microsoft company. is a, I mean, Power BI is a Microsoft product. Okay. See, Power the first BI. thing you're talking about, Microsoft is first position. That's good. Second thing you're saying, Tableau is the first, uh, second, that's good. And the competition is between Tableau and uh, Power, uh, Microsoft, you're saying that's good. What else? What else Did you can you... bring out of this? Least of Click and spot so many tools. Are Microsoft is the top position among okay. all the tools. Okay. Lots of the tools so, are near to the uh, very less users. They're not okay. even. So many tools are in the starting stage. Yeah, yes. Starting stage. Yeah. See, yes, from today, from today, okay, I don't know what you will do. Every day you have to eat four pistas and you have to eat four badams. Do you know this? Four pista, four badam. Do you know this? Yes. 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 Start so eating good this. Yeah. Start eating this for your good observation power. And start giving this for your kids. You know why I'm saying this? To become a data analyst, the first skill that you have is you need to have an excellent observation power. You need so, to have an excellent observation power. Yeah. Now, if this is been given to me, okay, assuming that I'm already a data analyst and you people are learning data analysts, it's just the day two, right? It's just the day two. We still have many steps to cross to become a data analyst. But if the question, same question is asked to me, if the same question is asked to me, being already a data analyst, the way I would have observed this is everything I would have put into numbers. Everything I would have put into numbers. Now, that's the difference between a person who's learning and the person who's already experimented. Let me tell you what I would have done this with this chart. I would have drawn a single a dotted line here. Okay. I will call this as a 0th percent of the percentage uh, start line. This is 100 and this is 50. 50% of the race. So the mid of the race bar, I'll pick, break it as a 50%. Can I say, can I say, out of 30 tools in the market, 
except tableau and power bi no other tool has even managed to cross the 50% of the race can i say that can yes. i say that yes. forget yes. about winning yes. the race forget yeah. about winning the race this people have not even come across a 50% of the race can i say that yes okay yes next one can i say that majority of the tools almost like 20 to 25 percent of the tools have collapsed in the near the start line can i say that you can see lot yes. of you can see lot of tools near the start line itself that means forget about winning forget about winning somewhere tableau and microsoft is running like anything but these people have collapsed in the initial stages only if you were the person and if i asked you everyone was saying that microsoft is first microsoft is second for power tableau is second but if you given me this analysis the first thing i would have come up with this the two extra insights which i would have brought on to the table is out of 30 plus tools only two tools have able to cross the 50 percent of the race most of the tools have collapsed in the start line and most of the tools got stuck in the between now finally i will tell okay ta microsoft is first tableau is second now that's the difference between a person who's already knowing and the person who's knowing start improving your observation power in a chart the first thing you have to observe is where can i get the numbers your complete chart you have to figure out how can you fetch out and how can you display as a numbers if you have given me i would have come up with four insights what is the insight something useful information which i'm bringing to the clients is called insight so i would have brought four insights maybe you would have brought two insights correct now the chart says that undoubtedly the first position goes to microsoft's power bi now you may ask me what is this? This guy has not even updated. It is still showing 2020. Right? It's still showing 2020. Just we will divert from this sheet and we'll go back to another sheet where I'll start comparing this tool right from 2015. Okay. Um, actually, I like this tool very much. This is one of my favorite tool. I've used almost, uh, I am worked with almost 50 technologies, uh, 10 business intelligence tools. I worked with Python, data engineering, data science, data analytics. Oh my God, all of my 10 years I've been working, 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 working with all the top technologies. But this is one of my favorite. You know why? I started my career in 2014. 2014 is where I started my career. The day I step on to the IT field was in the year 2014, right? Power BI was launched in the year 2015. Power BI was launched in the year 2015. Personally, when I entered into IT market, literally speaking, there was no Power BI. There was no Power BI. So after me getting into the company, we started to work with other tools and suddenly in 2015, to our every shock, we got a Power BI as one of the business intelligence tool. And today in 2020, I'm showing the report, it is on top. So let's go and see, let's go and go back. The only thing which I don't like is history. Okay, in our school, colleges, history was the only subject where I used to score less. But I started to get the uh, interest over the history after learning about all these tools. So let's go back and see the rewind of our report right from 2015. Let's see where the Power BI was standing. Okay. Now, this is what the report in 2015. This was the report in 2015. Now tell me, if I give you 30 seconds, what is the insight you will try to bring out of this? Come on. What is the insight you will try to bring out of this? All the tools um, are near to the Tableau is the number one. Tableau is number one. Okay. All the tools are near uh, to the 50%. Nine tools are uh, greater than 50%. Thank you so much. You started using numbers. Welcome data analyst. Next. 
click went down so it was uh, up before now it's no up before down. no see the one which i showed was 2020 this is 2015 so this is the first time power bi came into market that's why i'm showing 2015 so tell me what happened in 2015 what you are observing here that time microsnikov was not in comparison with tableau so in this five years microsoft actually beat tableau and was the first by using power bi tool if i'm okay let me tell you what I observe. In 2015, we have got a new tool into the market which called Power BI. And Power BI has somewhere been hidden somewhere in the between tool. The reason why I highlighted is, if I would have not highlighted, I would have not even noticed that. Right? You would have not even noticed that. Uh, of course, I'm from Bangalore, so I, I always try to use this word. Uh, and just I want to hear this from you people as well. Power BI is something like Gumpal Govinda. It's like in somewhere in Gumpal Govinda. Do you all know what is the meaning of Gumpal Govinda? Here we say it, Gumpal Govinda. In Telugu, what we say? Gumpal Govinda. Gumpal Govinda. 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 What do you mean by Gumpal Govinda? Anyone? One among the so crowd. many people is there, and one single person that is called simply Gumpal Govinda. Okay. Uh, what do you call for? Uh... Uh, this one uh, in in Tamil. Any Tamil guys are in the group? What do you tell the same dialogue in Tamil? Tamil also same thing. Yeah. Go by flow. Gumbala Govinda Ah, okay. Gumbala Govinda Pordrade. That's correct. So if I observe this, definitely I would say that somewhere it is in the Gumbala Govinda, right? Right. Yeah. But it is not even able to identify that. But all this happened in 2015. Okay. Now let's see what happened in 2016. 2016, Power BI managed to come out of the other tools. Maybe it's not still in the first step. Okay. It's not still first. Again, if I go and do a ranking, again, if I go and do a ranking, it's not in the first. Okay. It's not in the first. But still, Microsoft got segregated from the other tools. What is uh, improvement that we had in just one year. So in the first year, everything was nearby, nearby. It was looked clumsy. In the 2016, just one year down the line, Power BI got separated with the unique features and it got moved from the other tools. When this has happened? 2016. 2017, it started to start racing between Tableau. So 2017 is where there is a challenge that we started. Microsoft and Power BI. Okay. So it started moving away from the tools. Now the question is, forget about all the other tools. Who is going to touch the finish line? Is it going to be Tableau or is it going to be Power BI? Right? Now that's the ideal stage we are now. Okay. When? 2017. So 2017, we can see that there are two tools which is running for the first place. And you can see that they're almost at the same position now. They're almost in the same position. Um, as I said, um, again, one more small story, 2014, I started my IT career, right? Uh, 2017, I got into Microsoft. So first company was, uh, some startup company and 2017, I got into Microsoft. The efforts I put in the Microsoft that, I mean, the efforts, which I put in the startup, it was definitely a very useful when I went to Microsoft 2017. When I went into the Microsoft, you know what was the interview question? You know what was the interview steps? Just one question on in the interview process. Just one question. Just one question. You know what was that question? Just talk about Power BI for 10 minutes. 10 minutes presentation on Power BI, you are selected. Because no one was knowing in 2017. Because the tool was launched in 2014, 2015. In the 2015, people were not even knowing about this tool. And the interview process was very simple. You talk about Microsoft Power BI, you're selected. That is how I get into the company. But now the things have changed, okay? Don't expect the same question. Oh, if I go and talk about 10 minutes Power BI, they'll give job. No. Now they have started uh, a lot of scrutinization is happening. A lot of things, a lot of interview questions, scenario-based questions are all getting. So when it's a small story, which I want to tell, that was a stage that happened in 2017, right? Now, so 2017, we can see that both were all on the same level. 
2018, uh, there was nothing much change. There's nothing much change. So it was still at the same level. Now, here is where we started to see a lot of changes that we started to use in Microsoft. And from 2018 onwards, Power BI started to show some distance and it was being considered as one of the best business intelligence tool in the market. 2019 is a year where Microsoft has been pushed into the top. From 2019, we are seeing, we are seeing, we are seeing, we are seeing Microsoft's Power BI is on top. This is a picture in 2019. This is a picture I showed you in 2020, which I already shown in the other slide. And we will not stop here. We will again start comparing with 2021. In 2021, observe carefully, the distance between the first and last become increased. So this ideally comes to a conclusion that, okay, this is going to be the first, right? But always, Power BI has a, some small fear. You know, what is that fear? Um, you go and ask anyone in the classroom, okay, the top rank student, okay, the topper of the school, topper of the school or topper of the class. If you ask them, will he be fear about the last pen students? Will he have a fear about the last pen students? No, no, but he no. will be always fear about the second rank student in the class. Okay, always the first rank student. He will never worry about the last bench students. He will least. He will be least bothered. But always he will be keeping an eye on the second rank, because the only person who can win him will be the second rank student, not on the last bench student. So this Microsoft started to keep an eye on Tableau. So every year, okay, is it going forward? Is it coming near to me? If it is coming near to me, maybe I should go and start uh, getting a new feature. I should start introduce some other things. So it started to think about it. This all happened in the 2021. Just listen carefully. Um, in 2021, uh, there was actually one more thing which was missing. And uh, Tableau, and there is one more thing called Salesforce. So Salesforce has also been considered as one of the BI tool. So since the distance is getting more and more, what happened in 2022, Salesforce and Tableau merged together. They merged as a company. Salesforce is one of the BI tool we can do a generator report. Tableau was one of the uh, reports So two friends. So two friends clubbed each other and now they wanted to beat Microsoft. That was the aim of merging. They wanted to be one of the best business intelligence tool. So Salesforce and Tableau merged together. All this, when it happened, it happened in the year 2022. But unfortunately, the merging did not even happen because even in 2023, we see that Microsoft was still on top. And you know what? Until yesterday, I have also waited for 2024 report, which is still not been published. Usually they do it in every January and February. So even if you see this, this was actually they have uh, published in the January and most of the reports they would have published by January, but I'm still waiting for 2024. But I can surely tell that even in 24, 25, 26, 27 for the next five years, the only tool is going to rule the business intelligence will be Microsoft's Power BI. It was just started in the year 2015 where it was. It's like in a Gumpal Govinda. Now it has come to a position where we are all speaking and you're all sitting here for learning this tool. And that's none other than the Microsoft's Power BI for the last straight last five consecutive years. We are seeing which is on top. And after COVID, I started also stopped predicting. Okay, coming from a data science field where we predict future after COVID, even I start stop predicting because we don't know what is going to happen tomorrow, right? We don't know what is going to happen tomorrow. So life itself is unpredictable. But still, I'll tell you, Power BI is still going to be in demand for the next minimum five years because they now started using all of AI technologies. All of AI technologies, Microsoft chat GPT has like joined hands together. Microsoft has come up with a beautiful update called Fabric. Microsoft Power BI along with the Copilot has been more and more. See, as I said, right, uh, the first rank student, if he has already got a first rank, see, I'll tell you a very good example. I'll tell you uh, 
in 2000 uh, till 8 2019 virat kohli has scored 70 centuries okay in the international cricket he has scored 70 centuries from 2020 to 21 he didn't even score one century so everyone saying is out of form out of form lot of criticizing happen lot of things happening in this uh, i mean people were started um, healing at healing about him right but you know what what he has done, people never talked about it. What he is not able to do, people are talking about it. That means, that is what expectation. So, people have already kept the expectations on Virat Kohli. When he suddenly is not performing, people talk about him. The same thing, always the people who are on top will have that fear. Once you have hold that position in the first place, you always have to maintain that. By chance, if you slip it, it's gone. You cannot withhold that. Uh, remarks that you have been into the second person. So, he not to always be on top. They are all continuously coming up with updates. I will be the best. I will be the best. I will do this. I will do that. I will come up with some artificial intelligence, intelligence charts. Lot of things they are doing. And they are doing, 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 doing. Until now, we have never seen a slip in the position. It is always on top. So, I am not saying Tableau is bad. Tableau is also a beautiful tool. I have worked with both. I have worked with both. We'll see the comparison between the first position and the second position. We will not compare with all the 30 tools, but we'll start comparing between 1 and 2. Right? We'll start comparing between 1 and 2. So, both 1 and 2 are good. But how are you going to use it for your reporting is what really matters. Now, this is a first proof. You don't believe me, but you can believe this Gartner report. The Gartner report will never lie because their only work is comparison. They'll only compare, 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 and they don't know anything else. And they have compared right from 2015 to 2023. And we can see that for the last five years, Microsoft is on top. And in the course of a duration of the co our course, right, it may go up to three months now. From year three, three and a half months, if you see now, definitely you can see that you will be getting 2024 report as well. And I will show you 2024 report as well. Power BI will still be on top. Right? So this is a first proof for you for power bi okay now let's move on to the second one let's move on to the second one yesterday i showed you the google trends i've shown you the google trends right so google trends is something when people are searching about the trend we started to see about the uh, how many searches happening how many people have started using so if you see the trend Last five years, if you see, uh, I'm comparing Power BI with Tableau. The Power BI and Tableau, Tableau is a red color, which is almost like a stable. See, now my work is to only compare one and two because there is a chance that a second one, second person Tableau can reach on top. So my comparison should be one and two. So I started comparing Tableau and Power BI. I can see that the red line is always a stable line. But if you see the blue line, it's last five years, it is keep on increasing from zero to keep on increasing. That means people have all started using Power BI right from 2015. We can see that people have started using more. Okay. Now, that's actually good to know the stable line of Tableau, but the trending line of Power BI stating that Power BI is start being used by most of the companies and clients. So how can you say it's trending? The number of people searching for issues, downloading, installation, updates, checks, YouTube videos, all this is keep on increasing, increasing, increasing. This is a second proof for you that Power BI has been increasing in the last five years compared to Tableau. Okay. Now, let's talk about comparison. Always this comparison will happen. The comparison between first row and uh, the first person and second person. Okay. So, this looks like a lot of theory. Let's play a small game. Let's play a small game. Uh, imagine a game between uh, a football match between two teams. Imagine there is a match going on between two teams. Okay. Let's say one is Messi team and one is Ronaldo team. Okay. Let's say two teams are there. Now, even after the full time, they haven't scored even a single goal. How do they decide the winner? Extra time they will play. Even in the extra time, we were not able to decide. What we will do? Penalty shootout. Penalty shootout. Let's assume that. Penalty shootout between Power BI and Tableau. 
So we have to decide which one is the best. We want to decide which one is the best. So let's play a, a penalty shootout. Both the teams have not scored any goal. So I'm going to a penalty shootout. By end of the penalty, whichever team has go, scored the large num more number of goals, I'll be declaring them as a winner. Okay. Now, we'll start with 0-0. Zero, zero. We'll start with 0-0. Zero, zero. First one. In Tableau, without even writing any code, we can build almost 24 charts. In Tableau, without even writing a single code, we can build almost 24 charts. Whereas in Power BI, we can get 30 plus charts. Who is the winner? Power BI. Power BI. Power BI. Power BI. One goal. Okay. One goal. So Power BI scored the first goal. That's good to know. Good news. Okay. Next one. Is there only 30 charts I can do? Definitely no. Definitely no. You can still get lot of charts. Lot of different, different innovative visual charts. Everything you can get it. But in Power BI, it's very, 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 very easy to get. You can still get another 250 charts. You need not even write a single line of code, but still you can get another 250 charts without even writing single line. If I'm able to get 250 charts, well, that is what is all about Power BI. Whereas if you talk about Tableau, if you talk about Tableau, you have it's a lengthy process and you have to write some code for more charts. Where I would say the second time, the second goal is also scored by Power BI. 250 charts I can get without even writing a single code. Who will not do it? Right? Who will not do it? So that is nothing but 0, 2. So here I have to write lengthy code and all. Now, uh, sometimes the data can come from Excel sheet. The data can come from CSV files. The data can come from n number of data sources. Correct? The data can come from n number of data sources. But if you see here, Tableau supports almost 77 plus data sources, but your Power BI supports 100 plus data sources. Well, I would say the third goal is also scored by Power BI. Power BI. Okay, the third goal is also scored by Power BI. Now, as I've told you, as I've told you, as of now, don't uh, think about too much on the uh, key terminologies. As I've told you, if you want to do a report, first thing is you need to have the data cleaned. You need to have the data cleaned. That means you need to have proper data. If the data is not clean, obviously you will not be able to come up with a good report. So data should be clean. In Tableau, what it is happening? In this Tableau, just remember that ETL means cleaning. For now, just think that ETL means cleaning. In Tableau, there is no built-in ETL tool. That means inside the Tableau software, I cannot do the data cleaning. Data cleaning I need to do outside and outside from outside I need to get it into from outside I need to clean the data and then I have to get it into this tableau. It was a bit challenging but here in Power BI I already have a built-in ETL process that means inside the Power BI only I can do the data cleaning. That's beautiful actually because I need not depend on anyone else. In Tableau, you have to depend on someone else. But here, I am using as my tool. Here only I can do the data cleaning. So I would say it's 0, 4. 4 goals scored by Power BI. 0, sco zero goals scored by Tableau. Now Tableau has 180 functions. Like always, you will not be able to do with the help of charts. You have to write some functions. Like in Excel functions, you have some functions. The good thing about, again, Power BI is... Power BI, Power BI has 300 functions, whereas your Tableau has 180 functions. So obviously, the fifth time, the fifth goal is also scored by Power BI. And let's come for the data storage. How, can, how much of data you can store? How much of data you can store? Data storage. When compared to Power BI, Power BI can st store up to 100 terabytes. Power BI can store up to 100 terabytes. But we can see that Tableau can store unlimited data. 
so for the first time it has won the first goal and tablo has scored the first goal and five is something which which i would say it's a drawback for now as of today you don't know anything about power bi it's a drawback but power bi also knows how to handle this type of issues maybe 100 terabytes still a huge number but let's see in this unlimited data sets okay i'll give the preference to unlimited and nothing comes free in this life right nothing comes free in this life there is a tool who is going to help us in data cleaning converting the raw data into insights that means you can never use it for free everything in life has a price tag everything has a price tag so similarly to use the tools also you need to pay some price right so for that assuming that um, as of today uh, the dollar price is 80 rupees so 80 into 10 800 rupees i need to pay monthly charge monthly per user monthly per user okay this is for licensing so 10 usd dollars now let's talk about 70 into 80 you need to pay 5k monthly every user so obviously the preference i'll give it for this one cheap and best is there any other proof required or i can declare the winner is there any proof required again between tableau or power bi or i can declare the winner no no you can declare power bi as a winner so what we have to pay uh, ten dollar on Power BI CentOS? Sorry, what? For Power BI service access or what? Sorry, what? Yeah, you have to use Power BI. What you have to pay you ten dollars? Yeah, if you want to use the service, you have to pay ten dollars. So, so Power sir, there must to... be some reason like uh, some companies are still using Tableau. So, what is that reason? Like the companies are not migrating to Power BI because we have seen the chart Gartner report. Both like Microsoft and Tableau are at, still the same, like at the same level. Okay. So why uh, the company will pay 70 USD per month? Okay. I'll tell you one question. I mean, I'll tell you one small example. I'll tell, I'll tell you one small example. You tell me the answer for this. I'll not tell Aaron's answer for this directly because you're asking about Tableau, which I don't like. So I'm not going to answer about Tableau, but I'll tell you one small story. One small story. I'll tell you. Okay. You tell me. After listening to the story, you tell me what it is, okay? Now, in KSR, we are hiring a person. Some hiring is going on KSR. If you want, you can apply. Uh, we, we also collect all of your fees, right? So we also collect all of your fees. So when we want to collect your fees, like let's say a person pays 30,000, 30,000, 30,000, or a person chooses to pay 10,000, 10,000, 10,000 installments, we are getting confused. So we are hiring a person from IIT who is going to work for finance. So he'll be working for finance in KSR. Okay. The only qualification that we are looking for is as to have an excellent mathematics skill. Because when we are dealing with uh, finance, you have to be very focused on numbers. You cannot make a mistakes. Okay, listen carefully. Listen carefully. I am looking for a person in KSR who has a very strong skills in mathematics. Okay, so we went for campus. Imagine that it's IIT uh, uh, Tirupati or IIT Delhi, whatever it is. We have went for one college for campus. Our focus is to hire one person. Okay. Usually, people who have maximum max will get placed first. Like a rank, top rank student, first rank, second rank. All these people will get placed into good, good companies. Because marks plays a major role. Great. Now, this is actually student number one. He has scored good marks in science, 99. Uh, he has scored good marks in... Uh, let's say uh, electronics he has scored somewhere around 97 he has scored good marks in maybe in uh, 
computer science. 100, he has scored 100 in computer science. And there is a mathematics where he has scored 70. The total score that he has scored is uh, 3, 4, 4, 34 marks he has lost. 34 marks he has lost means 364 marks he has got for 400. And he is a topper of the class. Topper of the class. First rank. Okay. There is another person. Student 2. Science he has scored 40. Um, electronics he has scored 35. Computer science he has scored 40. So almost uh, 60, 60, 120, 120 plus another 60, 180 marks he has lost. In the three subjects itself, he has lost 180, 180 marks. Mathematics, he has scored 100. He has scored 100. The total marks he has scored is 140, 180, 220. So 220 out of 400. So this guy scored 90%. This guy has scored 50%. Okay. Now this is, he is a last rank. Question to you. For KSR, will I have second rank student, last rank student or will I have first, first rank student? Last rank. Last rank because the mathematics they required. Why? I should have hired this person, right? He's a topper, right? But required for the mathematics. mathematics still, maths. No? Now tell me, will I always go with the rank? No. No. This example should justify that not always Power BI is used. Though it is on top, not always it is used. What if the companies are demanding for uh, unlimited data? Which is best? Tableau is best. What if the companies are looking for, I don't want a built-in ETL tool there. I want to do data cleaning outside. Then I will use a Tableau only for reporting. In Power BI, we can do everything inside. But they don't want that. Still, still. So it all depends on company's need. In KSR, I want the person who is strong in mathematics. Obviously, I will choose this. Because he scored less marks. Doesn't matter what is scoring in others. So there will be a company need which will still go with Tableau. It will still go with Power BI. Is your question answered? Yes. So companies are still using Tableau. Maybe for different, different, different use cases. But for me, always I want to be the best. So Power BI is giving a lot of good features. And that is why I am using Power BI for the Sorry, what? Okay. So with all this comparison, the first rank, second rank, obviously for Power BI has been showing a good performance. So I'll go with it. Okay. Now this is a second proof. The first proof is Gartner. The second proof is actually the trend, the Google trends. The third proof is comparing between the Tableau and Power BI. Okay. Now the fourth one is July 24th, 2015 is Power BI's birthday. And to in this year, it is almost nine years old. Nine years old. Okay. I don't know where, I, where are you sitting. You may be in India. You may be outside India. I don't know. Since we are not uh, virtually connected over video. So I don't know where you are. Okay. Wherever you are in this world, wherever you are in this world, if you observe my presentation, we have n number of tools that I can use it for presenting your screen. This all the slides I could have prepared in any other tool. If you can go and search in Google, a presentation tool, you'll get hundreds of presentation tool. But the one which I'm using to present my screen is Microsoft's PowerPoint presentation. The email that I'm going to send you will be from Microsoft Outlook. The conversation which I'm going to have within the team will happen from Microsoft Teams. To store the data, I am actually using Microsoft Excel or Microsoft CSV. 40, 45 years down the line, still I am using Microsoft product. I am still using Microsoft product. That means it's all because
brand it's all because of brand brand is always a brand microsoft it's a brand even today after 40 45 years of all this microsoft products even now i am still using even now i am still using microsoft for even for a small presentation i'm using means it's all because of brown now i can proudly proudly say that power bi is also a microsoft product will i not use it for me data security is important so definitely data will be secure in microsoft and that's why i'm using microsoft product okay and a lot of companies have started using uh, power bi don't think only this all my friends are working in this companies that's why i took this company there are lakhs of companies who are using power bi okay there are few companies like uh, adobe dell hp honeywell all these are my friends who are like uh, recently placed so that's why i put here but other than that there are lakhs of companies who are using power bi even ks are using it even ks are using power bi KSR Mahesh is also using how many students have got placed, how many students are coming in, how many students are getting jobs, how many students are completing the course. Even we are tracking that with the help of Power BI. Now, this is a third uh, proof for you. Brand. It's a brand. So, brand is always a brand and a lot of companies are using this product. Okay. So with all that, let's see how Power BI works. Okay, let's see how Power BI works. Okay, so before this, I would like to tell you one thing. I said that it's a Microsoft as a brand, right? So currently I'm working in Microsoft. Is there anyone in this group? Is there anyone in this group? After knowing that I'm working in Microsoft, did you ever thought, of course, my, my relatives, my cousins, uh, my family members think all this. So that's why I'm asking this. Is anyone thought, what is this? Santosh is working in Microsoft. His life is settled. Anyone thinking in this way? He can be cool. You need not put yes, a lot of yes. He must be earning good package in Microsoft. So, like, everyone knows. Okay. So, you're saying that my life is cool. Yes? Yes. Yes, seems so. Okay. Yes, thank you. Absolutely. Okay. Thank you. I usually keep hearing this from my uh family members whenever i go to native uh, uh they'll say that what for you you're working in microsoft okay this is the first thing they tell okay they'll not ask me what you're doing in microsoft how is work pressure how you're handling nothing they'll ask nothing they'll ask simply they'll say what for you pa? you're working in microsoft the same type you are also asking me what is this you're working in microsoft okay now who is the CEO of Microsoft? Satya Nadeira. Satya. Whoever is working in Microsoft will get a chance to meet Satya. Okay. I have met him. He has come to our location. So I have met him. Not now. A couple of years back, I have met him. Okay. So it's a story about Microsoft now. So when I met him, he is a very, very person down to the earth. Okay, you can even have a coffee with him. That type of very down to the earth person. Okay, I got a chance to meet him. Not only me, whoever joins Microsoft, every employee will be able to talk to Satya. That's something which the company follows as a culture. Okay. There's one wording that is told by, okay. People think that once you join Microsoft, your life is cool. But he came up with one statement. Can anyone read this? He told us, he told every Microsoft employee this word. Can anyone read this? You join here not to be cool, but to make others cool. One more time. You join here not to be cool, but to make others cool. Can you tell me what is the meaning in this? Like you have to, to be like hard to, to make other people comfort. To make other people's lives easy. He is telling all the employees for Microsoft. He is telling all the employees of Microsoft. Guys, you have joined here not to be cool. 
you have joined here to make others life cool today we have a tool which is actually without even writing any much of coding we can convert that data into charts that because there is a big brain that is sitting in microsoft office they are working day and night to make your life easy remember that we have a tool beautiful tool power bi but who has introduced that the people who are working from microsoft right so if you are thinking my life is cool definitely no we do have lot of pressure of course paying more means they'll also give pressure no one is going to give you a free salary here correct pressure will be more workload will be more any challenges you people address we have to fix it because our work is to give you the product what is that product it's none other than power bi i i always like this statement when people see if i go and uh, to show this to my relatives they can't even understand what is this but simply they'll say for you what pa you're working in microsoft this is what they say but the hard reality is we are working in microsoft not to be cool to make your life cool because you are the people who are using our product okay a famous statement that he keeps saying it and that is how we have the brand created once you have the brand nothing can shake even google has a brand like initially it was a, a competitor with yahoo but now straight away everyone knows google microsoft is a brand amazon is a brand the lot of other e-commerce companies but amazon is always on top all these companies are branded companies which you always prefer to use it right so with that we have come to a proof i have shown you what are the proofs that i have been going to use power bi the first thing is it was recognized by gartner and i have also shown you the google trend that this has been searched more and people have started using it maximum features when i compared with tableau cheap among all the other tool just 10 dollars you need to pay for using this tool and finally history and brand these are the five reasons i am going to use power bi if you want 50 reasons i can tell if you want 500 reasons i want i can tell if you want 5000 reasons i can tell why i'm using power bi do you want do you still want or we can come to a conclusion that yes we are happy with power bi fair enough we are it's justified or if you want i can give 5000 reasons really needed i can give or you are satisfied with five reasons satisfied yes okay with all that let's get into power bi we know that power bi is a business intelligence tool that can clean the data analyze the data visualize the data and let's go and see how it really works and followed by we will see what is a installation okay we are going to install power bi software i'm going to help you in installing the power bi software and right away from the next class we are going to see practicals okay i am a person who always use practical things so only for presentation i'm i'm just to make you introduce power bi i cannot just speak on so for that i'm showing the slides this is a next class will be the last class will i'll be showing the uh slides after that everything is going to be practicals i'll be opening the power bi desktop uh, we'll be doing a, a live reporting and as i promised remember yesterday's date exactly one month down the line you will be able to build a report uh, is a power bi is a separate package to uh, purchase or it is included in the microsoft 365 sorry power bi if, is... you, if you want to buy the power bi software is uh -huh. it separate package for 18 rupees as you said or it is included in the uh, microsoft 365 package i mean it's a tool it's a separate tool we call it as it's a power platform but it's a separate tool okay it's a software it can think it as a software but uh, we have no, they are not offering it. along with microsoft 365 right nilfan it's not part of microsoft 365 power bi is in a separate tool we have to purchase it's costing around uh, Twenty-seven dollars per month. Again, in Power BI, we have three versions: free, pro, and premium. But KSR is providing to you, including in the same course price only. You no need to pay separately. We are providing Power BI license, which is additionally we are doing 
there is no institution in India can able to provide license. Example here, Santosh at KSR.com, Mahesh at KSR.com, Karthik at KSR.com, Chirag at KSR.com, I give uh, admin Afzal at KSR.com. Similar way, all of your students here, how many students are there, everyone will get an email ID, which will work okay. with the Office 365 and Power BI. Power BI can comes with Office 365, but Office 365 once comes with the Power BI. There is a small okay. difference here. Got it right? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I got a question over here. I just want to know which license are we going to get? Is it? We are going to get premium? premium license. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. So premium so for two months initially. Uh, sorry. Just time. For two months initially. Later it will move to the another two months. So we are able to provide a four months premium, and later it will be kind of degraded as a pro version. Even still, most of the companies, around sixty to seventy percent companies, will use a pro on the initial days. Until unless it's really required, they will upgrade to the premium. Because it's a costing uh, problem. But here we are going to try new on premium too. And just to add on, uh, last year, May, Microsoft has come up with a beautiful update called Fabric. So when you talk about a Fabric, there is no specific license like a pro or a premium. You'll be able to do a lot of things in Fabric. So now the license are getting changed. If you talk about only Power BI, yes, we have licensing like pro premium. But if I talk about a Fabric, we don't have particular license. So you will be getting Fabric access as well. So that's the one good thing here. Whatever the latest changes, updation that is happening in Power BI, you will be able to learn here. Uh, Santosh, yes, I have one question. What is the difference like between data science and data analysis? Like, see, um, I'll I'll tell you a very simple example. In Swiggy, I showed you one Swiggy report, right? So let's yes. say I'll I'll show you one Swiggy report again. So let's share the screen and let's say this is a report that Swiggy is building. Uh, Swiggy has been using for their decision making. Okay, now in this Swiggy, I have built a report. Who has built this data analyst? You people are data analysts. You people have built this report. Now, when you people have built this report, you're, you're just saying that, hey, uh, in the month of December, we don't have much of orders. In the month of January, we don't have much of orders. Uh, we see that there is a lot of complaints that has been raised in the month of April, May, February. You can say this. How do you get to know you're the person who has built this report? Now, you people are called data analysts. Whether you are doing this report in Tableau or Power BI or something else, I'm least bothered. But I need a report from you. This is what data analyst does. Now, what data scientists will do is, hey, why there is a drop in the month of January? Why there is no much of sales happening in the month of December? What is wrong in the month of February? How to decrease the number of complaints? How to increase the number of uh, uh, sales? How to increase the number of orders? They will start thinking about machine learning algorithms. They'll start talk, thinking about strategies. I can say that it's not working, it's, uh, sales are low. But there is another team who comes with more ideas, they will implement it. For example, I told, I will be going and implementing the strategy. If something is not working, right? So let's say that uh, I came up with one of the advertisement, this type of advertisement. This is my idea. Who will implement it? We, it's simply not possible to uh, install, right? We need to talk to the team. We need to find out what is the pricing for installing this device. And we need to cost, calculate the cost. We need to calculate what is the return on investment. If I spend 50 rupees for this one lift, am I going to get that 50 rupees? So I need to keep track of all the investments, inputs, cost, everything. All this someone, other person should be able to do. They'll do with the help of machine learning algorithms. There are certain algorithms that we will be using. Depending on that algorithms, we can predict, okay, is this going to give a good sales or not? This type of an additional work where they try to implement the ideas is done by data scientists. Your role will be stopped at providing the insights. After providing the insights, you may give suggestions. Whether they are in, whether they are coming back to the suggestions or not, they will have to take care. That is data scientist. Is it clear? Yeah, clear. Yeah. So which one having more growth option like in the career wise? Like Anything data analysis, with data has always been in demand. All three. Data science, data engineering, data analysis. All three in demand, but package wise, Data engineering and data scientists gets you more package compared to data analytics. This is a no coding, right? So everyone will start learning. So you need to be perfect in that. That's what I'm saying, right? Uh, we do have already a lot of data analysts in the market, but you need to be 
even more talented to give ideas and suggestions. So that is where your skills will be considered as more value add. So start giving ideas, suggestions. So that is where you have to be more into a data analysis. All three are good, but package wise, this is in the second position. Okay, and if we are going for data scientist, then we need to know that like Power BI as well. You need, not know good if you, know. you need not know Power BI, you need to know Python. Python, yeah. You have to learn coding. This is the only subject where Python can be skipped. For the other technologies, you have to learn Python. Okay. Yeah, hi, Sudhish. Yes. Yeah, we need to learn statistics and maths for data analysts. Not required. For data scientists, statistics is required. For data analyst, not required. Yeah, okay, thank you. Yeah, hi, Santosh. Yes. Hi, Santosh. Okay. So, like, we will be having the premium version of uh, Power BI, right? Mm -hmm. With the KSR ID. So, I wanted to know, like, till what time span we can use that premium version? Because after four months, the classes, this uh, class will stop, right? So, I wanted to know after that also, we can use that uh, Power BI premium version with See, the KSR uh... ID. The KSR email ID will be valid for one year, and but okay. the premium version, we can get it for four months. And now okay. we can almost extend it by one month. That is something which is possible. I'm not promising you, but somewhere like one or two months can be extendable, okay? So totally, you can think that four and a half to five months. This is what you will get the access. And why I'm saying that one month is, now we have started using fabric. In fabric, we don't have any particular license. So it has just been considered as a fabric environment. We can start using your license itself. But apart from this, if you still need an access, you have to pay that extra uh, to get that license. Four and a half months, five months is more than enough because right away we are not using license. We are using the license towards the end, the last one month we are using. So the entire course goes for four and a half months in the sense, the last one month only we are using license. So after that also, you still get a couple of months to use this license, even after the classes is done. Okay, even after oh. classes is done, you'll still get a couple of months that is why we say that don't activate the license unless and until we say. So we'll be providing the license, but don't activate it. Just follow the class instructions so that you can use this two, three months of licensing effectively. When you say that effectively, even after class is completed, you'll still have two months in your bag where you can use your license. But no one has come back requesting for license. You know why? They would have got job. Company would have given their new email ID. Why they need KSR email ID? Once you get a job, KSR email ID is invalid for you. Correct? Yes, correct. So, Santos, uh, a similar okay. here, one question. Like, once we are completing the course, how the team will uh, help to get the job us? Like, we are having a different, different domain or different... different See, all uh, this, uh, we other, still have uh, to discuss. Uh, we still have to discuss. We are actually stopping with this... Uh, how Power BI works. In the last slide, I'll be telling you what is the uniqueness about our uh, course. Like what are the features we do it? Like resume preparation, interview guidance, everything will help you. So I'll be walking you through in that in the next class. Uh, I'll be talking about the course, course details, course timings, course fees, why are we unique? And all this will be telling you in the next class. So please wait until the next class where we'll be covering most of the things. That is, all of you will have a question. How is the opening? How is the market? A lot of layoffs is happening. Can I get a job? Is it the right skill for me? Who can go for this course? All this we will be answering in the next class. You told that the ETL tool is inbuilt in Power BI. So can we do the complex operation in that ETL tool also? You can and do anything. Okay, you I mean, so anything. type O and asset type we can do. And after that, we can uh, visualize also that data. Right? Anything you can do. Anything you can do. It has a built-in tool. You can do anything.